And still in Abuja, a foundation stone has been laid for the construction of a multi-million dollar office complex for the ECOWAS parliament in Abuja, Nigeria. Since Ghana is the chair of the sub-regional group, Vice President Kwesiye Misa Arthur laid the stone to commence work on the office complex, which would facilitate the work of the MPs and speed up the regional integration process. It was a historic <coughs> occasion for international relations experts and political watchers monitoring how the 39-year-old economic community of West African states could realize its single ambition of integrating especially its economies. But integration cannot happen without infrastructural development, which could largely be facilitated by the sub-regional parliament. The unavailability of an office complex for members of parliament is a drawback to the block. This is what motivated the Nigerian government to set aside 932 million Naira grant for the execution of this all-important edifice. After laying the foundation stone, the speaker of the ECOWAS parliament, Ike Ekwiremadu, in the company of the president of Nigeria Senate, Dr. David Mark, and some MPs, took Vice President Kwesi Mr. Arthur round the newly rehabilitated Parliament House. It cost the host nation some 3.4 billion naira to get the building in shape. It included a replacement of the roof and upgrading of the main auditorium, new seats, a multilingual interpreter system, new parliamentary discussion system, are some fine details noted. The auditoriums have been renovated and the library committee rooms and modern elevators have also been fixed. The gesture is in line with a treaty obligation signed by Nigeria to provide a befitting accommodation to the regional parliament. All these are expected to aid the work of the MPs so as to speed up sub-regional integration. Ntobi Binimto, GBC24, Abuja.